So now as we have seen in the drive test, we can collect so much of data, be it related to the cell identity, be the frequency which is being used, what kind of the coverage or the quality is, is there any interference in the network? So all these different things we can collect and we can process that. We can see that in the post-processing tool that how we can process all these recorded log files and get insights out of it. One thing which is very important in the drive test, which is to analyze the layer three messages. We have seen some snippets during the different sections in the protocol and the KPIs. Let's go through it once again in case of drive test, what all different information we can simulate. We have different SIP messages which are coming when the user is switched on first time. So this is the simulation we have considered here where the user is switched on first time. We are getting the SIP messages. We are getting the information about the network. Then we have other SIP messages which are associated in the network, be it related to SIP2, SIP3, SIP5 in that case and SIP6 and so on and so forth. Also, we can see that what exactly are there in the attached requests. We have seen when the user is switched on, there are different information related to the user, its temporary identity. All this information has been passed on from the user towards the base station and then to the core network. And once that NAS message or the request has been gone, there is a there is a further identification request from the user that is being then further sent by the user about what kind of different authentication vectors are there, which needs to be first authenticated to give access to the user. And then in that case, once all the information has been given back to the network by the user equipment, what normally happens, there is a UE capability that is to be inquired either UE is able to handle the different services which are being provided by the by the network are they what kind of data rates it can support what kind of different features such as carrier aggregation and so on and so forth can be supported or not all this information once transmitted there is a RRC connection reconfiguration we talked about it it is about measuring the different parameters and those measurements at what time need to be done by the user and sent back towards the network for different kind of scenarios for different purposes. And then once the all the authentication security check has been done, there is a attach accept that is happening. And then there is a default bearer which is setting up. So this is the whole process which we can also simulate through the drive test in the log files.